afternoon to you all from South Africa. What a fantastic way to start your afternoon sunset safari with zebras on our open area. Not only zebras, but you can see we have the trusty old impala right outside camp. And you will now be able to see that we have incredible blue skies and ah, the sun is just shining. And just to give you all some context, we don't always have zebras here. They're not in as big numbers as the other game reserves. So when they're here, we get we are really lucky that they are actually here. And the fact that they're just outside our camp, well, that is even more fantastic. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lauren. I do have Olaf on camera, and it is an absolute pleasure to be here with you all. What a great start to your live and interactive safari. Well, we found a lilac breasted roller. Ultimately, the most colorful and gorgeous birds out here. Or are you? There are lots of gorgeous birds. Hmm, there are. The rollers, the kingfishers, the bee eaters. I think they are the groups of birds with the most fabulous colors. But when a lilac breasted roller opens its beak and calls, it just surprises me every single time. It's really not a nice call. Sorry, beautiful, but it's really not. <laughs> Getting a death stone now. We are actually looking on for insects on quarantine which is our open area, and I think this roller is doing the same thing. A while back I had that big go uh, golden, or banded leg golden orb web spider. Look at this one, this is a very different spider. Also one of the orb web spiders. This one looks vastly different, it's much smaller. Lower to the ground. Got that sort of abdomen, it's almost like knobbly in a way. Black and white banded legs. And then on the back of the abdomen, or it's got that on the sort of like yellow and black bands. And this, my friends, is the garden orb web spider. It looks like it's got something that it's eating there. And I can't, I can't see what it is. But one can see there, it's got that sort of zigzag, zigzag pattern in front of it. So now they do that in the middle of the web. That is a structure known as a stabilimentum. And that serves many purposes. Some uh, believe it tensions the web or helps the tension. Some believes it's a marker for bigger things like birds to avoid it. It also could potentially break the outline of the spider making it less visible. Okay, I've got so much excitement at the moment because I have spotted something very, very cool in the tree. If you just wait a moment, maybe it's just going to pop out. How's that? <laughs> so here you can actually see the size of this fig tree and in relation, the size of the bat caves as well, in relation, quite cool. Wow, how is this? This is magnificent. Rian, you have to come up here as well just now. The view up here is incredible. Wow. Now forgive me, I am a little bit out of breath because I had to do some mountaineering to get up here. But yeah, this is... This is a good little spot for me, I, I won't lie. Only problem is I'm hearing bzzz. I'm hearing bzzz somewhere here. I hope there's no swarm of bees up here because you'll see me jump out of this tree and run for my life, that's for sure. <laughs> watching this lovely pod of hippo that have come to join us here i'm not too sure if it's julie and his family there's two younger calves one kind of way younger than the other and of course 
course, the one cow. We're looking at the young calf at the moment, though. Very, very cute. Lovely to see all of them come through. Of course, with all the water that has come down the drainage line and filled up the dam, really is a haven for Hippo at the moment. But uh, lovely to see all four. And rather cool. So a little bit of playing going on. There we go. Hoping for that. A little yawn. Maybe we'll get some audio now too. Which they really are. They're really indulging us. Treating us to an awesome little sight of that. And that's exactly what we were hoping for. A little bit of audio. Obviously lovely to see them yawning too. But the interaction just special. We've got the most incredible, incredible sunset that's happening out here. Now, look at that cloud over there. It almost looks like a like a horn, eh? Use your imagination, it almost looks like a rhino. <laughs> Just these shapes. We often see animals in these shapes. How wonderful. This is exquisite. Getting a little bit of reflection. So these are definitely rain clouds that are forming here. But yeah, as I say in Madikwe, it's difficult to tell whether it's going to rain or not. And to predict the rain and weather out here, I think, is going to be quite tricky. And uh, one of the the members at Jackie's camp, one of the staff members, they actually said that uh, it's, you're wasting your time if you're going to try and, and learn the weather patterns out here. It's just so unpredictable. Oh, Darren, that's well said. Sky art. That's it. I often uh, say it's uh, it's nature's art. Uh, that's I refer to birds' nests and you know uniquely shaped trees as Mother Nature's artwork, and it most definitely is. But sky art, I like that. That's a, a good one. That is epic. That is so incredible. Okay, so we're looking west towards the Drakensberg Mountain, and just look at this rock show. We can't see the mountains. This whole cumulonimbus cloud formation is. Oof, there is a lot of things happening in that system there. It, it doesn't seem to be approaching us. It seems to stay along the escarpment and just over it. I think it's damping on hood spread at the moment, but the mountains have a profound effect on the weather at times. And it seems like it's just moving northwards along, or, or actually not moving, growing northwards along the mountain. Well, here is a lot of static. There's a lot of up and down draft in that cumulonimbus cloud formation. So all that lightning you see, there are intercloud lightning. Are not, almost none of those reaches the ground. So the lightning that reaches the ground will need to be underneath that cloud. Remember, we're a little bit higher than hood spread, so that still drops down into a bit of a depression, and then you have hood spread. Well, since we're having a lightning competition, we've lost a lot of light now, but we've stayed in color because you can see the lightning flashing in orange and bright white. There's definitely quite a storm on its way. The wind has picked up. As long as I'm in my bed, I'm more than happy with that. It's load shedding all night long, so we'll just be lying there watching the storm. <laughs> I can't stop watching. I know I probably should go and look for animals, but I can't stop watching this. This is very hypnotizing indeed. But everyone, it has come to that night, that time of night when we have to say goodbye. I hope you all enjoyed your sunset bumble and please do join us tomorrow because we shall be out as long as it's not raining too hard. Have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow.